welcome back to another Nava Rose video. Y2K has been trending a lot this year and since we are leading up into a new season, you might have that feeling of wanting to refresh your wardrobe because I too am guilty of that. I want to add some early 2000 pieces into my closet. So today is going to be a thrift haul of some Y2K inspired pieces and some vintage pieces from that era that I recently thrifted. Dun, dun, dun. And of course, you know it's not a thrift haul without my fave, Thread Up, who is the sponsor of today's video. For those that are unfamiliar, Thread Up is an online consignment and thrift store that carries some of your favorite brands for up to 90% off the estimated retail price. For shopping early 2000s trends, most of the time it makes sense to shop secondhand versus buy new because there are so many styles out there that you could just thrift and for half the price. And buying secondhand is the perfect place to shop these type of brands because most of them were basically born in the Y2K era. Thread Up also just opened their Y2K shop where you could shop brands like Juicy Couture, DKNY, BB, Guess, and more. And they also have a thrift look section, which I'm also featured in. Hello, me. They have this new tool where you can shop similar outfits just like mine. Thread Up wants to share the love of fashion and sustainability with all of you. So they're giving my viewers an extra 30% off their very first Thread Up order with my code Nava. Okay, time for this Y2K haul. What do you all want to start with? Let's start with... We're going to just start with the most Y2K of them all. My Juicy Couture, which I put all in one outfit. <laughs> all three of these items I did find on thread up first off we have this juicy couture tee it's a nice cute little white tee with some pink rhinestones very nava rose i feel like i could style this in many different ways but in today's outfit i styled it extremely y2k with my pink velour juicy couture whoa whoa whoa! why did i rhyme right now unfortunately these don't have you know the iconic juicy couture stamp at the butt which i was really hoping for they look extremely large but these are low rise but they still fit really really well super cozy love this look and because we are reaching fall i also paired it with probably my favorite piece of this whole entire haul this juicy couture pink scarf oh my gosh it's so cute wow i love it so much but yeah, I decided to wear all three Juicy Couture things from this haul in one entire outfit. This takes me back to middle school me when I was obsessed. Another pink Y2K inspired piece that I got is this ruffle Converse skirt. I feel like I don't have a lot of fuchsia hot pink mini skirts and this just gave me that early 2000s vibe and I wanted to add it into my closet. And she also still has the tag. Okay, so let's talk about the outfit that I'm wearing right now in my intro. This is a Sugar Thrills top and I was really excited to find it on ThreadUp because I personally don't really shop on Dolls Kill's website anymore. I love this top. It's fuzzy and it has a little heart here. And I paired it with my knee high boots and a red mini skirt. Since it is fall, I wanted to add some Y2K fall pieces, not your typical pastel rhinestone type of Y2K vibe. I also wanted to do some fall vibes because it's fall now. So I thrifted this Sherpa trimmed corduroy jacket. It's actually a, a girl's jacket from the little girl section, but it fits me pretty well, except for the sleeves are slightly short. I just really like like faux fur trim coats and tops and whatnot so i definitely needed this i paired it with my two-piece set that's off-white because it matched the color of the fur trim i'm really excited to wear this with mini skirts and button-ups and mini dresses it's gonna be so cute hopping back into the pastel y2k trend the staple of y2k which is the little lace camis i definitely had to pick one up this one is from bb and i really liked it because of the gradient the little ombre pink Color and the little ruching in the bust area because vice president of the itty bitty titty committee so we love a little volume there and i paired it with my low rise denim jeans which is the next item in my haul and these are from guess that i thrifted on thread up these are actually my very first pair of low rise jeans that i purchased as an adult i had some back in the day in the 2000s but i do not fit those anymore because i was in junior high i really like like the little uh, pocket hit on the back. Early 2000s is iconic for like a good denim on denim look. So that's what I did with this outfit. I'm also not sure if I'm just really short or these pants are really, really long, but I feel like I might need platform, like mega platforms to wear these pants because they were just dragging. They went past my feet even in high heels. So 
Maybe I'm just short though. So continuing on to pants, these are from Kache, which if you have watched my past thrifting hauls, you all know that Kache is like one of my favorite brands to thrift. They cut right above my ankle, so I feel like they look really good with sandal heels or even with boots. I think they would look cool. But my favorite part is this like oversized buckle that runs along the whole waistband. I just paired it with a crop top and some sandal heels. All right, we're gonna take a break from clothes clothes right now and we're gonna talk about accessories so i picked up one belt from thread up it's this rhinestone double heart belt it's for girls but their belts fit me as waist belts so just fyi if you're looking for a good waist belt check the girl section what i love about it is that it has this dangling heart in the center that is just so adorable and i love it so much all the rhinestones are intact very rare for anything that you thrift usually you're missing about two to three rhinestones <laughs> if you ever thrift something next we got purses there is something about this purse that i just love a lot i don't know if it's the color i like the color combo or if it's the weird shape of the purse but i don't know there's something about it that i just really like i don't know much to say about this purse other than i enjoy looking at it and I feel like it would be a great accessory to my outfit and she looks like a fun time uh, that's pretty much all I got for you. Since this is Y2K era, I definitely had to pick up a guest purse. She is micro. I'm pretty sure this is the smallest purse I own in my purse collection. I can literally just fit my keys. It's smaller than my phone. You know that time during the early 2000s where they would just mix a bunch of textures and materials and trim? This, giving me very 3LW vibes. Love that. Destiny's Child vibes, yes. I do have a couple shoes. So these are the first pair that I got. They're these black heels that have white stitched flowers on them. The heel is the smallest I even have in my whole collection. So it honestly just feels like flats. <laughs> Clearly, these are too small for my feet. This specific type of sandal I thought would be really cute under some pants, like a little peekaboo under pants. I do have another pair of shoes, but I'm going to wait until the very end to show them to you because they're my favorite out of this whole haul. So next, we have a very 2000s dress. Dun -dun -dun! It is this pink. What is this? Waterfall, oh my gosh, I am in fashion, but sometimes I never know my silhouettes, which I think was one of those styles in fashion in like Y2K era that you could wear as a skirt and a dress. So I'm wearing it as a dress. You could possibly wear it as a skirt. It's definitely like that baby doll fit, if you will. I like this dress, she's cute. The next dress we have is this mesh leopard crisscross mini cocktail dress. I love this because it fits so well which is pretty rare thrifted items I usually have to alter it's from guess very early 2000s this dress is one of the best savings that I got from this haul so it's estimated to retail is $138 but I got it for only $34 which is more than half of the price so the last dress I picked up is this blue extremely long sleeve mini dress I just thought this dress was so unique and fun and I had to have it in my wardrobe it's a boat neck dress which I don't have very much of but it's actually pretty flattering look at her she's cute <laughs> like look how long the sleeves are they go all the way to the ground but they look so pretty and the last clothing piece that I have is one of my favorites from the haul I'm slowly starting to get into vests for this season I really like the faux fur I don't really have that much in this color so I'm really excited to style this the faux fur trimmed trend is going to be really big for the early 2000s or for like any y2k inspired look and it's definitely one of the other items that had the best savings for me that I thrifted off of Threda. so the estimated retail price is a hundred and forty nine dollars but I got this off of Threda for only twenty three dollars and last but not least I saved my favorite item for last and it is these Christian Christian Dior denim heels. They're so cute. They're literally my favorite thing of this whole entire haul. Even though they were the priciest from the haul, they were such a good deal. They have the denim right here and blue embroidered butterflies. And then the big silver CD for Christian Dior. 
Oh, I love these heels so much. I'm not gonna lie. They are small on me and my feet are quite wide, so they don't really fit as well as I would like them to, but that is totally okay. I will squeeze my foot in as much as I can because these shoes are just, they're just amazing. Oh my gosh, a denim on denim look. I can't wait to style these. Like the epitome of Y2K. I love these heels so much. These are my favorite. I've been getting a lot of secondhand designer things off of ThreadUp and they have never failed with me. I've loved every single item that I've gotten and I've gotten a lot of Y2K vintage designer pieces off of there too. So my rosebuds, that is it for my thrift haul. Go out there and start thrifting for some new Y2K pieces to add into your wardrobe. And don't forget to check out ThreadUp's new Y2K shop and to save some money by getting 30% off your very first thread up order by using my code NAVA. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all so, so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.